Hey artists, it's Monster Paws. So on Facebook, I asked you guys what you would like to see. One of the suggestions was your favorite and your least favorite art supplies. I'm gonna go over some of my favorite things that I've been using for the last few days or last few months. Some of them are supplies and some of them are apps. First thing on my list is drawing Amino. You may remember last month I did a video on drawing Amino. It is a community for artists to post their work and get constructed feedback and criticism. It's a great way to get your work seen and to make some friends out there in the art community. And there's literally people of every single skill level here, so it's not at all an intimidating app to jump into. When you do post, you have several different types of posts that you can make. There's a blog post where you can post your pictures, maybe you're working on an art piece and you want to post a step-by-step -step tutorial. You can post polls and you can open a public chat. This is really good for a group chat. You can get to know people and other people can join your chat and add to your conversation. Drawing Amino is available on both Android and iOS devices. I will have a link in the description below if you'd like to download it. You can follow me. My username is the Monster Paws. My screen is so broken. <laughs> and a thanks to Drawing Amino for sponsoring this video. My second favorite art supplies is one that I just actually got a few days ago and it has quickly become one of my most favorite things. It is so fun and that is the Pentel Pigment Ink Brush Pen. This pen has synthetic fibers and the blackest ink that I have ever seen. It is so beautiful. It is made in Japan. The pen has a squeezable ink cartridge to feed ink through the tube into the bristles. It took me a second to figure out how to put this ink cartridge on because I'm just not the smartest. I can't read Japanese and the entire package was in Japanese writing so I was just like, what do I do? I don't know. Google help me please. As you can see, the brush comes to a very fine tip. You can get very thin lines but if you're expecting to get very thin and steady lines, you better have a very steady hand. By simply applying a little bit of pressure, it is very easy to get a broad line as well. My next two favorite things are two things that I ordered from my own Redbubble shop. And the first one of those things is this tank top that I'm wearing right now. I decided to pair it with my biker jacket thing, but this is a tank top of the goddess of anxiety and the print is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. I pulled it out of the box and I was so impressed with how crisp and vibrant the print was. It looks exactly like my drawing, which is great because that means I didn't just waste my money on my own merch. But no, I was quite impressed with the print quality of this shirt. And the next thing I got from my Redbubble shop was this sketchbook. Actually, I think it's supposed to be a notebook, but I got it with blank pages so I could draw in it. This sketchbook is of my Inktober piece called Aquarius. Yeah, I was very impressed with the print quality. It is not fuzzy. It looks exactly like the photo, which it should. The pages on the inside is just a standard printer paper, so if you've ever worked worked with marker or ink on printer paper, this is going to be a very familiar feel to you. And the last thing on my favorites list is the Pilot Kakuno fountain pen. I have always been interested in fountain pens. Just looking at videos of people using a fountain pen and I'm just like, I want to try that. I want a fountain pen. I got on the interwebs and I googled for a fountain pen and I came across this little guy. It is so cute. I got the one with the violet cap and for some reason I thought that the Pilot Kakuno would come with colored ink that was the same as the cap, but I was wrong. It comes with just black ink which was a disappointment to me. This pen is a great fountain pen for starters. I got the fine tipped nib pen, which I kind of feel like is very, very fine. I would almost consider it like an extra fine. I don't know if Japan's measurements for nibs are is different from ours here in America. Maybe it is a fine tip nib and I'm just crazy. I don't know. This is a really good pen. There's not too much line width to it, but I don't mind that. It does have some line variations, so I'm not complaining in 
that department. That's it for my list of favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to be making a sequel to this video where I have some supplies that are not my favorites. If you want, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and Snapchat. All the links are in the description below. If you want to purchase the shirt or the sketchbook or any other merch that you saw in this video, you can check my Redbubble shop. The link is also in the description. Don't forget to subscribe. We do art things. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next video. And remember, don't quit your daydream. Hey, artists, it's Monster Paws. Today, I am attempting to bring you a I guess you would call it sort of a tutorial series 